hi guys good morning this is vidur and in this video we will explore uh, the different firmware options that we have for our missed access points and on which software version your access points should be okay in the network uh, we basically have to focus on the three main software versions one is the production firmware the other is the rc2 firmware and the last one is the rc1 firmware right you must have seen these three options when you go and upgrade the missed access points so we'll understand what these software software versions are and, and which software version the AP should be on. Uh, cool. So the reason, you know, the reason to create this video is because we, we've been getting a few tickets just inquiring around uh, which software version is good for our APs and what version should be on, right? So hopefully after this video, we'll be able to address those questions and answer those queries. But anyway, if you have any more questions around the same, you can always, you know, uh, reach out to me uh, on the, in the comment section and I'll be able to address them for you. Cool. So uh, this is the missed dashboard as you're all aware of, and we will try to, uh, you know, understand where, where to upgrade the APs and, and where to look at when you talk about the different software versions. So before we go any, any, any further, I want to just again repeat the three software versions that we have. One is the production firmware, the other is the RC2 firmware, and the last one is the RC1 firmware. Okay. Uh, let me take you to the access point page right here, and we'll see live what they are so i'll click on uh, i just selected the access point here this is my home org and right at the top on the on, on you know right here i'll click on upgrade aps it takes me or in fact it gives me a warning or just a message saying auto upgrade is enabled and the aps firmware may be upgraded again according to the schedule right so what it means is that i've already enabled auto upgrade in my org so i'll, I'll show you where i did that okay i go in the configuration and site settings site configuration i'll click on the uh, with the home org uh, home home site and right here if i scroll down i have the option of auto upgrade enabled which i set to 2 a.m every sunday upgrade to rc2 firmware if a new version is available right this is exactly what it was trying to tell me so if i do a manual upgrade the auto upgrade will still uh, work at the you know at the back so every sunday 2 a.m the auto upgrade will still work so let me go back to the access points I'll select the access points and click on upgrade AP. I'll say, okay, that's cool. Now I get the option of these three versions that I was talking about. So if I zoom in a bit, let me see. Anyway, it's not letting me zoom. Let me zoom in here and then click on the drop down. Yeah, okay. So you see three options, RC1, RC2 and production. And it's very important for us to understand which, which version our APs should be on, right? Uh, even for uh, a POC or a, or a live network, it's critical that we understand what these what these software versions are. So we'll move from production to RC2 to RC1 so that you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So production firmwares are basically uh, firmware that is tested completely for the supported feature set, although this is the most stable firmware. It has limited feature support since we are no longer adding new features to it or the bug fixes. So, so in the production software or the production firmware, we will not be adding more or new features or a critical bug fix. We'll only be adding a security vulnerability fix here. Okay, just understand this. So production firmware is is fully booked or, or, or fully cooked, I would say. There are no uh, uh, new features or, or, or bug fixes. We only will add security vulnerability fixes in this. That is production firmware. That's why it's like 0 0.6, it's a slightly older firmware. Okay, next is the RC2 firmware. The firmware with newer functionalities and is still under testing, but is relatively stable to be deployed on the field, right? It is still under testing, but is, it is relatively stable to be deployed on the field. RC2 is one with the feature complete set. However, we're still adding critical fixes. So uh, critical bug fixes. So RC2, you may not see new features coming in, but RC2 will, you know, in RC2, we will still add critical bug fixes. Okay, that's the that's the version that you know I usually go for. RC2 is the version which is deployed on my AP as well, and I recommend RC2 honestly to to all my customers. It's slightly you know it's 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 actually cooked, and you still have you know enough feature set enough features and you, and you do have critical bug fixes as well in this, along with the security vulnerability fixes as well, of course. Uh, the next one is the RC1 firmware. Now RC1 is the newest of them all. Okay. So the firmware with, you know, with known fixes or functionality on top of the RC2 firmware. So RC2, uh, I mean, sorry, RC1 will eventually go in, in and become RC2 in a few weeks. So in RC1, you will see more features uh, being added. And once, you know, 
they are cooked in the field and you know enough testing has been done it's going to be moved to rc2 so eventually rc1 will move to rc2 rc2 will move move to production and that's how the cycle is so i mean usually what i do is i actually go ahead and uh, uh, you know and uh, you know, recommend being on rc2 and if you see uh, my ap uh, should also be on rc2 if not i will move it to uh, rc2 uh, if you see uh, in the site configuration i'll just take you back there and let's see what i have configured i would have configured it to be on rc2 yeah so that's that's what i that's what i want i want my ap's to be on rc2 and that's what i recommend as well uh, but you know uh, again i would say it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to be on rc2 it all depends on the kind of network that you're running and what feature you're looking for. So I would highly recommend that consult the Juniper Mist SE. Uh, drop me a message. I'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, let me know. And, you know, for us to really recommend a version, we need to understand your network first. We need to understand what kind of uh, features you're running and what is the exact need of the R. So if you're looking for a specific feature, which is only in RC1, then I can't come and recommend RC2 to you, right? Because you won't get the feature, of course. So, so just, you know, it all depends on what you want. And, and, uh, and based on that, we're going to recommend uh, the software version. So reach out to us before you make this call. Let us know, uh, you know, just involve us whenever you, whenever you need. And we'll be more than happy to, you know, take care of all the, all the, all the problems here that you might be facing. So, uh, yeah, I think with that, uh, again, yeah. So there are two ways to upgrade the APs. One is through the site configuration, as I just showed you here. And you know, upgrade the AP, you schedule the upgrade uh, based on when your network is not live. You can select 2 a.m. Sunday, uh, you know, basically, we don't expect the network to be live at 2 a.m. on a Sunday. So, I mean, it all depends on your network. Whenever your network is free and not really running, you can set the scheduled upgrade. Or you can go in the access points tab. And as I, sh as I sh showed earlier, uh, go, on, uh, go on upgrade APs proceed and then select version whatever you want to uh, keep the version and then start the upgrade okay that's another way of upgrading an access point so uh, you know usually i use the auto upgrade i mean i use the scheduled upgrade because it's not really uh, i don't have to be on the screen to do that it's going to happen automatically and sunday 2 a.m i'm usually sleeping so uh, it's not really gonna you know cause any disruption in my network so I use that uh, feature. I mean, you're you're more than welcome to even do a manual upgrade. Uh, that all depends on on your needs. So that's cool too. Uh, cool. So I think that's pretty much what I wanted to discuss in this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And 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 of course, if you have any questions or concerns around any software version, you should reach out to us. Feel free. You know, just not upgrade. Let's not upgrade the, the AP to any version that we feel. Uh, let us know if there are any concerns about any feature and, and uh, the, the Juniper SE or the Mist SE or even our support team would be more than happy to let you know which version to go to. Cool. Thanks guys. Thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day.